What's up, Webflowers? I'm James from Outsetta. Today, I'll show you how you can use our Webflow app to protect content on a page. This is essentially a really powerful form of conditional visibility because it's connected to your auth and your CRM. You can display completely different content depending on the user, whether or not they're logged in, and based on which plans or products they are subscribed to. Let's get started. So here we are in the Webflow Designer. We've already got the Outsetta app open. Just a quick note before we move on, make sure that you have this required head script installed in the site settings. It's gonna ensure that all of the Outsetta functionality works. So what are we looking at here? We've got a page with a few different sections on it, and we want each of these sections to be displayed to specific users in specific situations. So let's go through and make sure that they're all being displayed in the right context. So let's go to protect content. And we have our first card selected here. Um, so this says get access to our free content. It's got a sign up button. Um, if you're already a member, it's got a login, login button. So we want this to be visible to only users who are not logged in, so anonymous users. So we'll click that one. Let's move on to the next card. This is kind of an upgrade section. So we're sort of nudging the user, like you're already signed up for the basic plan. How about you upgrade to the pro plan? So for this one, we want only users who are on the basic plan. So we'll add that. Let's go to the next card here. So this is the kind of the listing of all of the free content on the site. Um, so we want this to be available to both users on the basic plan that have access to the free content, but we also want the pro users to be able to see this as well. They should be able to see everything. So we're also gonna add pro and then add attribute. And then moving on to the last card. So this is the pro content and we only want users who are subscribed to the pro plan to have access to this. So we'll remove basic and then add the attribute. So at this point, we've added all of the settings that we need in Webflow. Um, we're just going to publish and test this out. So here we are on our publish page. You can see that since we're not logged in yet, we're only seeing this sign up and login section. We're not seeing the upgrade section and we're not seeing either the free or the pro content. So let's log in. I already have an account set up that is subscribed to the basic plan, which has access to the free content. So let's log into that one. Okay, now we're on the same exact page. Um, except now we are no longer seeing the sign up and login section. We are seeing the upgrade section since we're on the basic plan and then we're also seeing the free content. So let's now log out. And now we're gonna log back in with a different account. So this is an account that I created that is subscribed to the pro plan. And there we go. So we're seeing now the free content and the pro content, and we're not seeing the upgrade section anymore. And we're also, since we're logged in, we're not seeing the sign up and login section. That's it. You can see that it's really easy now to protect content on your site using our Webflow app. We have videos that go through each of the features of the Webflow app. So look out for videos on displaying user data, integrating authentication features like sign up and login, mapping Webflow forms to Outsetta CRM, and more. If you have questions, you can reach out to us at support at See you next time.